Hello and welcome to a CryEngine 5 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up basic AI. This will consist of creating a navigation area, bringing in a character and making him move. Okay, so I've created a very basic terrain. Um, you don't really need this, but if you want me to show you how to do it, um, I will gladly do so. So, we need two things for this to work. A AI navigation area and a AI human. We're going to create our navigation area first. We want to go into create objects, hit AI, and double click navigation area. We then want to drag out a square. We want to click anywhere on our map, click again, click again, and double click, making a square. We then want to drag this navigation area below our terrain. We're doing this just so it doesn't bug out and leave out areas because it's above the terrain and things like that. Okay, once we've done this, we want to go back to our main menu, hit Entity, go to AI, Characters, Human. Um, he will sometimes spawn below the world, hit Control shift and drag him up and that should fix that. Now this navigation area is just letting our character know what's in this area and um, where to move essentially. I mean, it's obviously more complicated than that, but it's a dumbed down version. When we hit play, our character will uh, play an idle animation and he won't actually walk around. However, um, if we double click, middle click, he still won't move. Uh, this can happen for multiple reasons. Let's just go to a bug fixing, um, bug fixing thing here. So drag him in again. Uh, sometimes that will happen actually. If you just uh, drag in a character, sometimes he won't move. However, as you can see, um, I drag him in again, I middle click, and he moves around the area. So this is obviously boring, it's not very useful. If we were to spawn in, um, our character won't move. If we shoot him, he will actually move, but um, he won't move on his own, which isn't really what we want, it's not very realistic. So, to fix this we want to use tag points. So go back to our main menu, AI, and tag point. Drag a few in, and just spread them around the world. I'll just use three. This is basically a checkpoint or waypoint. Um, it gives a coordinate to our character to move to. Um, he sadly won't just move to them on its own. We have to create a flow graph for this. A flow graph, if you've ever used Unreal Engine, is a blueprint. Um, it's visual scripting, essentially. So it's a great one. We want to go to Entity, Default, and Flow Graph Entity. We then want to right-click, Create Flow Graph, and I don't know, call it patrol underscore flow graph. Once it's made, a flow graph menu will come up like this. Just dock it by going into like that. We want to start off by right clicking and adding a start node. This is called whenever our game is started. So we want a AI sequence to start. So add node, AI sequence, and AI sequence start. We then want to add the output into the start. Now it's asking us to choose an entity. What we want to do is hit our character, right click, and assign selected entity. However, this is not the only way to do it. We can also hit Q, look up ID, and if we just look through, we should be able to find a player ID node. I am player ID list, so that's not the one. Entity ID. Or you can just do Q, entity, entity ID. Okay, so we then want to right click on this, click assign selected entity, and we can drag the ID to here. Now we want to grab our waypoint tag point 4, and we want to add a move node by right clicking, add node, AI sequence, and move. Link it to start, drag our ID in. Now, as you can see, we actually have a position here. And we could pick a position in the world, however, we can hit, click our tag point, right click, add selected entity, and it will add this node, this is the tag point. Try the position, and add it to the position here. Now, we want to duplicate this sequence move twice, and link the done to the starts. We then want to drag our IDs into the choose IDs, and then we want to click our other tag points, Right click, add selected entity. Right click, add selected en entity. We then want to go to the end, add node, AI sequence, AI sequence end, and drag our ID in. 
if I could, that would be great. Now, what is this is doing? It's saying, when the game starts, we want to start a AI sequence. This consists of getting our character to move to a position. This position is the tag point. When it's done this, we want to move to the next position. When it's done this, go to the next position and end it. Let's test it out. Let's hit play and it will work. Um, it's a bit slow, so click on our sequence moves, go up to the inputs and instead of walk, we can do run. Okay, that's it, play. He goes to tag point four, he should now go to tag point six. Then he'll go to here and he'll stop. There we go. Now, if he's doing this and we launch, I'll tell you what, if we go into the game and, and if we interrupt him, he will no longer follow this path and he will try to fight us instead. Switch to our pistol. There we go. If you want me to show you how to add these custom loadouts, I will gladly do so also. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like. Um, in the comment section below, add a suggestions, maybe how to loop this, which I will definitely do a tutorial on. So, um, he goes to here, 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 and then he keeps doing it and keeps doing it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.